here at Snatterton this weekend. Um, we were also here yesterday. Uh, the weather was a lot nicer. It was sunny, which is kind of what we seem to get on a track day. Um, yeah. But we've it, got. It's meant to be sunny today, but for some reason it's cloudy and cold. But hey, it is what it is. Yeah, it is November after all. We actually booked these track days in the hope that it would be wet to get some experience in the wet weather because I definitely need that. Um, but yeah, as per usual, it's nice when it's where we've got a track day. So. But yeah, we had some excellent tuition from Tom MacArthur yesterday. We had him at Cadwell last month, so we thought we'd book him again for a whole day this time. Um, and plus, we don't really know the circuit very well, so we thought we'd come down here and see what we can do. So yeah, yesterday went well. Um, do you want to say how it went? Um, yeah, it went pretty decent. Um, I don't know what to say, really. Just like, Tom's tuition was really good. Uh, pushed us on the whole day. And yeah, like taught us a lot about, like we have driven here before, but we just didn't know the lines. And like tuition on a track day, usually you get like 15, 20 minutes, which is good. But having a whole day of tuition just was so much better. And then coming back in each time, watching our own board, seeing where we've got opportunities and stuff, it really helped. And we had a few people asking like, does tuition actually help? Like, is it worth it? Um, and we say definitely is, you know, if you're doing a track day and it's available, definitely take it. Um, and yesterday we learned a lot, like I say, we didn't even know the lines of this track, we've never had tuition here, and we were pushing on and taking corners the way we didn't think we should, and obviously we're gaining seconds doing that, so it was definitely beneficial. Yeah, 100%. Um, but the car itself seems to be going okay. Yeah, yesterday was good, like we said, um, we're getting decent times in, and then just on the very last lap at back of, when sunrise, sundown last night, and the supercharger belt decided to snap when I was out driving. But it turned out it was like a remnant of the crash that we had, at, or I'd had at Ulton uh, last month, because the brake duct or brake... Hold the phone. Okay, he's going to show us apparently. Yeah. yeah. So that, that was rubbing on the... So the, the smash had obviously moves this, it tracked the... where the brake duct sits and... Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> no, that's fine. Just, uh, you chopped my head off. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so the, the belt had been rubbing on this, don't know for how long, but obviously it just worn through. And well, I did race two at Ilton and then we did a whole day here yesterday, like pretty much constantly in the car. So yeah, so I think that's what they did anyway, but new belt's on and it's, it's absolutely fine now. Yeah, all good. So, so uh, the car is running fine this morning Yeah, and we're getting decent lap times, even though it's colder today. Um, yeah, we're running those rubbish uh, tires again that we don't like, but we want to be learning how to drive in less optimal conditions because that's what we need. So these ones, like we said previously, take a lot longer to heat up and it's cold today. So yeah. like, once they're switched on and once they're warm, they're actually pretty they're all decent right, tires. Yeah. It's just but they then, take they're a lot not, longer. They're not like the AO 52s where they just they're turned on right away and just, you know, they're so grippy. Um, like Emma's already had, had a little bit of that. <sighs> Thanks for that. That's okay. Yeah, just trying too hard. Yeah, um, so yeah well, we're taking I've, turn I've, one. I've had a little spin as well. On the yeah, time. actually, Stephen had his first spin. You'll probably see that in the footage. We'll show you footage uh, from yesterday and from today. Stephen had his first spin. He didn't like it. No. Um, I'm like, it happens, you know, just get back out there. And it was fine. Then he got his quickest time when he went back out. Um, of course, then I'm trying to kind of beat him. Um, so I've been proved on yesterday for sure. Um, but yeah, I was just trying too hard, uh, trying to take too much speed into turn one and ended up going off on the grass, came back on the track and then obviously the crack on the wheels went off on again and then went into the field. Managed to get out of the field though, so it's a little bit like a rally car now. <laughs> um, but hey oh, Minnie's fine. Rally Minnie. Um, that's, that's what we'll do in the winter, we'll do the rally in the winter. <laughs> we won't. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll just see what it's like for the rest of the day. We've got the rest of the afternoon here, so... Yeah, see what we can do, and we'll show you some footage from that as well. Yeah, that was four minutes of waffle, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Right, just past the one dash, gentle brake. Off the brake, turn in, on the power. More power, more power, keep back the touch. Full power. Off brake, in your turn, tighter, 
What a donut. Full power, go on. This exit, what is going on? Straight up, full power, as soon as you can. Go, go, go. go.
traffic, so just be mindful.
So that's the end of the day at Snetterton. Um, didn't exactly go to plan today, we kind of had to call the afternoon short because the supercharger probably went again or the belt snapped again on just after lunch. Um, so I came in and then we replaced it because luckily we had yet another one and then I went back out. We put the tyre pressures up because it was quite cold here today compared to yesterday um, but I wasn't happy with the tyres because then the sun came out. So they obviously were getting warm again so came back in said to Stephen I wanted the pressures put back down again and then he was like you're going nowhere there's an oil leak so yeah uh what is the driver's side engine mount on them they're like oil filled and it's burst so it's just leaked oil 
all down the chassis leg, uh, onto the tire, which would probably be why. Yeah, that's why I was getting too no happy because there was just track. oil all over the tire, oil just dripping everywhere. I'm like, yeah, we're not going anywhere. Yeah. So. Um, engine man is just flopping about like anything. Um, so it's just I'm not even worth. Like, I cleaned it all up. We probably could have gone back out, but it's with a floppy it. engine mount. But I'm not worth. It's not worth risking breaking anything else. And plus, we don't want to get oil over the track. Like um, obviously, there was a residue of oil like going on the tires, and it didn't actually show leaking until we actually got back into the pits. Mm -hmm. And then there was like all oil, oil dropping some off of something. It took us a while to figure out where it was coming from because yeah. the engine was fine. Like I, I cleaned up everything, um, and I started running the car. And it's like I can't see an oil leak. I can't see where it's coming from. And then I just noticed the inside of the chassis leg was all covered in really thick oil. Which wasn't like the engine oil that we were it's running. It's not like obviously. engine oil, it's like really, it's like hydraulic oil almost. Um, so yeah, it's obviously come out of that engine mount. Like I said, the engine mount is really floppy. Um, so it's, yeah, it, it's not worth risking anything. We need to take the engine out anyway to do some of the things we need to do. Over and then the at least that happened now instead of next yeah. year on a race. Um, we were planning to pl replace that engine mount for one of the rubber ones that you get, so we'll do that now too. <laughs> yeah, because right, the older style, like Coopers and all that, they have just a solid rubber mount, so I might swap to them or see if Powerflex have a mount or something like that. We're not stealing off the Cooper though. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> we need to drive that yeah. too. Um, but yeah, that's going on the list of jobs to do during the, during the winter months, so that'll probably be it until next year. Well, <laughs> you said that last time. I say that, you know. You never know, there might be a I, random I, track day, but yeah. who knows. We do, we do like a track day. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah. that's it for now, and thanks for watching, as always, guys. Alright, see you next time. Bye.